Hello everyone, my name is Sohit Reddy Mandadi. I am going to explain about Oasis InfoByte Data Analytics Level 1 Task 1 that is Exploratory Data Analysis on Retail Sales. In this project, you will work with a dataset containing information about retail sales. The goal is to perform exploratory data analysis to uncover patterns, trends and insights that can help to retail business making informed decisions. First, we are going to jump into the project. First is to import the libraries that is pandas, numpy, matplotlib and seaborn. For pandas we can import the dataset and numpy is for dimensional arrays in this dataset and whereas the matplotlib and seaborn is to visualize the dataset. The second step is to mount the google drive. Third step we can import the dataset by using this df equal to pd.dhcsv and we can paste this link here. Next, we are going to display the dataset by writing a command called df.head. df.head means we can display the first 5 rows in this dataset. And next command is df.tail. Tail is for representing the last rows in this dataset. And next we can describe the dataset by displaying the information that is transaction id, date, customer, gender, age. We can show the information including data types. Next we cannot display the rows and columns by using df.shape that it is having 1000 entries and 9 columns are there. The 9 columns we are having transaction id, date, customer id, gender, age, these are all the columns and 1000 entries were the rows. Next, we can check that in this data that is there any null values are there or not by checking by using this is null bracket close dot sum and we can observe the 9 columns but doesn't have any null values are there. Next, we're gonna visualize the data set. By using df.describe, we're gonna count those data values including mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum, including percentages also. Next, we can display is there any unique values are there in this data set that nine columns were there are having unique values in this data set. Next, we are going to display a pair plot. Pair plot is for pairing the relationship of the data values including variables. Next, we are going to count the products in product category that is the clothing, beauty and electronics. These are the three categories in a product category. And we are going to count those three product categories that 351 count clothing count is there and count of the electronics were 342 and beauty is 307 and we can represent the comparison by using bar graph next we're going to group the data set for product category that is the quantity and total amount and we can show the comparison by using this bar graph you can just see the comparison that you can see that highest that high, highest quantity count is the clothing and for amount it is showing electronics next we are going to create a pie chart for showing the percentage for each product category and it is showing like this and the highest is for clothing is the highest percentage in the product category Next, we can split the day into day, month and year for trending the values in this data set. We can split the dates into day, month and year. And we are including month names also. First, they are including the numbers here for 01, 01 to 12 in the date, in the date entry. When you just go, when you just go to the data set and you can just observe that this is the date. 
and these are the month numbers where they like 550 is the may and 11th is the november and 10th is the october 12th is the december 4th is the april we can convert this date number into into text so what we gonna do means i just converted this month this month name month numbers into names and will display the names here next the total sales amount over each month then it shows the trend for the each month how much total sales were trend per month next this is also same as it is then how and next for the comparison over months in the previous plot previous graph i will show you the trend of the total sales amount per month here and next and it show it shows the transaction count for the transaction count trend and frequency over this each and every month next we can show the transaction frequency over each month by showing this histogram here only first january to december only one year how much transaction frequency was tended and it shows per month next we can display a heat map here in x axis the shows only months y axis for product categories and these are the values we are displaying were the sales displays a heat map here for heat map you can just see i wrote a index is the month and columns for product category and values were the total amount these are the values were the total amount and i just adjust the figure size here next next we have a gender for male and female gender is having two types one is the male and second one is the email so what i did is then i just display the count of the male and female in a particular gender we just observe the male is having 490 and female is the 510 we can display the pie chart for percentage the, the male is 49% and the female is the 51% and next time go next step is to binding the ages and we create a bins for 0 to up to 100 and whereas the age group we have created the age group only just up to 50 plus years age group here and this is the age group column which are already created in this data set next we can create a distribution of age and gender column in a product category and you can just observe whereas you can see that these are the it creates a scatter plot which was grouped in whereas beauty you can just observe the three cat product categories it was already created a groups a distributed groups that whereas the the blue color showing is as the blue color showing is the male as well as the red color showing is the female and this is these are the product categories which displays the distribution of age and gender across the product category and it shows the different various types of ages and the ages which was grouped here and these are the product categories next it, next we're going to create the histogram for count of age persons next we're going to display the information after displaying the information lastly we're going to create the correlation matrix of this in this data set and this shows the correlation of the data set so that's it guys so this is all about this project of level one task one it's eda on retail sales is there any suggestions let me know if you have any comments thank you